give it to me, I'll give it to you. I know what you want. You know I got it, baby. If you give it to me, I'll give it to you. As long as you want, you know I got it. Hey guys, John from Team UNA. I hope you guys are all doing well and keeping safe with COVID. Here's a little something that we did pre-COVID back in 2018 when we went to Japan. We thought we actually lost this footage, but recently we went, we're going through some footage and we found it. So um, this is Wingworks. All right, we're focused. Hello, internet, how you going? John, driller here, as usual. What Second else? last day. Second last day in, um, in Japan. We've come out to Wingworks, which is um, a Bosozuko style um, workshop, workshop, garage, kind yeah. of an offshoot of Liberty Walk. So um, we've been in contact with the owner here. So his name is Hosoi. Yep. He's actually uh, been nice enough to keep the shop open for us. He knew we were coming. Um, he said the shop's open until 8, but it was actually around 4.30. He inboxed us and said um, he's happy to wait for us to come. So he's pulled the cars out, yep. given them all a wipe down. It is raining, unfortunately, but everything still looks pretty sweet. So yeah, we'll, we'll show you around here. There's some pretty out there cars, Dif definitely different to what we have in Australia. Ro road rules wouldn't let this happen. No, this, this is, is like. He's, he's got to get like five lifetimes in prison with this. <laughs> we'll show around. Check it out. What's your favorite? So far, really? everything everything's great. It's great. But the Supra. This black Supra is sick. Because like not too OTT. And not many people really mod them in Australia. No, you don't. You don't see this model. You obviously see the uh, JZ8, JZ80. Yep. Um, but yeah, this model's so cool, and to see it in this form. Let alone like this with the massive flares. You don't see that. The color combo as well. Color combo is good. It's like that old school Advan kind of look. Like, oh, just, just the fact that that number plate is bent, it's about like, what, $300 fine, something like that back in Australia? Yeah, cop, something cop stupid. From behind with the slightest bend in your plate. Like, I mean, and it'll just woo, pull you over, give you a hard time. Let alone bent in half. Zero forks. Talking about the plate at the front and how you get pulled over. Yeah, because it's kind of bent. Yeah. 10 to 15 years in jail. This one? Look at the one at the back of this one. I mean, where is it? That's it's all the way under there. That's the life of the Ben Hill, it's always scraped on the floor. So, you know what I was thinking about this Supra? Because we just had a quick look inside. Yep. You know what I was thinking about it? How the hell do they steer with that steering wheel? Bloody Wouldn't tiny. Would not be easy. It's like what? Probably. I, I can't still with my uh, three. I think mine's 330 in the GTI and it's. That's it's bloody heavier. This thing's like 200? 200? Yeah. Something crazy. They're absolutely crazy out here. What a ridiculous car, eh? I mean, if that thing at the front, if that thing at the front was to hit you, that'd, that'd chop your ankle straight off. I've seen some crazy ass splitters yeah. on like race cars, but... Because the, the whole style of the Bosozuko was like, they were trying to emulate the race cars that time. Because the race cars back in that day had massive splitters, big, big arrow at the back, they were really chunky and wide. So that's the whole idea where this style of tuning came from. And they've, they've done it well, that's what they were going they've for. They've done it well, I mean it's... They've, they've made it a little bit silly, but I love it. I love it so much. Man, how good are the wheels? They're sick, eh? What are they, like 13? 13s, they look like they're, they're wider than they are bigger. Like bigger, yeah. They're wider that way than they are that way. They're ridiculous. And just seeing like the tiny little wheels on this massive side of the car looks hilarious and, and cool. Small wheels are the way to go. I'm sick of seeing all the new cars come out with like 18s. With tiny profiles. Pacific Type R we had. 
Yeah. Fucking low profile tire, that doesn't look good. They're hard to change. We found out from being at Abyssia as well. Yeah. Low profile is difficult to change. Big profile, small wheels. Imagine changing these, they'd be fucking mad. You need the fire, the This is my iPhone. It can barely get over it. It doesn't even go underneath it. I don't know how you would drive it on the street. <laughs> it's crazy. So Hasoi just came over, so I was trying to put the iPhone under the front bumper. Um, he doesn't speak that well in English, but he could make out that this thing doesn't run bags. He, he, could, he, he told us no air suspension straight up. <laughs> and we're like, what? <laughs> with that, with that, it's, floor, it's, it's actually it on the floor and it's just parked. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you crazy. So we've got the standard fair lady motor in there. I'm sure it's been worked, but it's a L20. L20, yeah. So single overhead cam. Straight six, two litre. We thought it was a standard fair lady engine. Yeah. But um, it's an American import, obviously with the blue and red. That's how they came in America. Yeah. With, uh, the, uh, the with that rocket cover, exactly same yeah. as that. that. That's what they came like. American JDM import. So we're just doing some shit talking. Yep. And then we found out that it actually was an American inspired car. Yeah. So that is what this car used to be. Very cool. You used to have that cool uh, paint job. Makes sense now. So our shit talking is not always shit talking. Mm. The thing that I really like about this shop compared to the other shops we've been to mm. is that all these cars seem to be getting used. As ridiculous as they are, like there's no spiders webs on them, all the tires are pumped up. He's washing them. He's washing them. Clean. Like we've been to some garages and their shop cars are just sitting there. They look just, sad you look as... look at the brake rotors and they're just rusted. Yeah. So you know they haven't moved in months. These things, they all seem to get used. Yes, they're probably not as high power as a lot of those things, track weapons, but... At least he takes his cars that he takes pride in driving. At least he actually takes them out. That's another good thing about the uh, Bozo cars. You look, he pops open the hood. It's just like a stock engine. It's just all this uh, cosmetic stuff. It's all about the aero. And aero and... Wingworks is a perfect name for the shop. Making it's all it about as crazy as possible. Yeah. Which is what they do. Making it as crazy as possible, going out, showing it off. Supposed to be a workshop, but there's not a hell of a lot of room, is nah, there? It looks like this is turned into storage space, and it probably does all his work outside. Looks like he probably does painting and all the cutting and stuff in Let's here, see, but on the floor. working on the cars, not, looks like it's all done outside, outside. eh? Outside, like us, it's, mm. it's pretty much UNA. This is UNA. We're losing light, yeah. It took us a while to get here. It's not close, it's about an hour and a half, two hours out of Tokyo. If you do want to come, yeah, here. if you do want to come here, which I highly recommend, like it's a sick shop, yeah, great hospitality. Um, Allow yeah. some time. Let's go shoot inside. He's kept them, he's had them for 40 years. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Those are, he's had those for 40, 40 years. years. And that that set of wheels. And he's 51. <laughs> he's had them for a while, eh? So these things are 11 and a half inch. That's 11 and a half inches. And Five it's, what? It's a 13, it's 11 and a half. Wide, wide 13. 13 inch. That's, that's a little crazy, isn't it? Crazy, crazy, everybody laughing. It's so cool. So they're off, actually off a of Nissan Bluebird and they've been uh, widened out. Yeah. That's cool. And that, that is the front Up side. That's that's definitely that's the front. That's not the back. Up to where? That's, that's deep. one driller wrist slash hand. So you guys, have just, we've just been having a chat over Google Translate. It's been effective. <laughs> and that little thing outside, you can't see because of our reflection. That little thing over there is actually a Nissan Leprica? Yes, yes, Leprica. Leprica, and there's only 60 of them in Japan. That's Pretty, rare. Pretty crazy. We looked at it like, oh, it's a little hatchback. Looks yeah. like a Civic looking thing. 60. 60 of those things. So it's not just a beer bottle. What is it? A fing VB long neck at 20 to 8 in the fing morning. Get that up, yeah. It's a shifter. It's a shift knob. Now, so this was a present from some guys in Australia who came by the shop. That's, That's a really cool, cool. present. We, we, didn't, we didn't come with a present. I feel inadequate. All we gave him was stickers. <laughs> That's very cool. 
we're just admiring these two scooters that are in here. And there's two different schools of customization. Yep. What have we got there? So this uh, blue Honda, this is what they call, what he's calling a new school. So it's essentially taking this Yamaha here, which is the old school one. Yep. Um, and kind of... It's kind of going a bit over the top. It's yeah. like more slammed, it's got a bigger wing on it. Like if you see, it's pretty much right on the ground. Then over here we have the old school type of customization. A smaller, much smaller wing. Much more subtle. So that. there's a little bit of, of a wing there. And another you know, added pea shooter there. That's about it. That's where it stops in the old school. Oh, yep, yeah, we've got yeah. some... Uh, Standing up the grips. Some different grips and a mirror. But when you go to the new school, there's a whole lot more going well, you, on. You do find that they've, they've added the same thing. So he was just pointing out the grips. The grips have been changed. Yep. The wing. Wing's been changed. The exhaust. The and exhaust. then obviously they've sacked it and all that stuff. But like, it's the same kind of... Ideas. You, you change the same certain parts, it's just a little bit more extreme. So these cool things, what are they, Driller? So these are actually the, uh, the, the tailpipe extensions for Jose's car. They're actually extendo pipes for the pink car so out there. I've seen that car before online in photos and stuff, and I do remember having these, so seeing it now, I couldn't so remember. So you saw it like, oh, maybe that's not the right car. It didn't have the uh, extendos. But now Ex seeing this, Extendo pipo. That's so the police don't give you five to ten, you know? Yeah. Take them off, you... only put them on when you need them. What do they give you for that? Oh, well, they don't give you anything because you're in Japan. Oh, okay. But in, in Australia, you know, with that. Yes. Woo! I'm gonna go to jail. I gotta let you go, babe. I'm gonna go to jail. And that's about it for that video. Um, unfortunately, we don't really have an outro or anything else because that was the last day that we we're in Japan and I think we forgot or we we're tired or I don't know. But we ended up going out that night, um, pretty much where that footage ends. We ended up going out with the owner there, Hiro Hasoi. And he took us out to a little izakaya bar and he got plenty of drinks inside us. So much that we actually ended up eating horse meat sashimi. Would never do that when I'm sober, but it happened. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. So yeah. That is pretty much the end of our Japan footage. We've got a little bit of D1 footage um, that I haven't edited. Might get around to that in the future. But right now, we're going to start focusing back on Australia, especially since COVID's starting to ease up all the restrictions and stuff. Hope you're being safe. So now that everything's easing up, we, um, we recently went and we shot at a garage, a workshop here in Sydney, something that's really exciting that's opening um, up locally, something that does... They, they do stuff that no one else in Sydney really does. So we were lucky enough to get in there early and, and, and get access to the whole area before anyone else could. So that video will be coming up very soon. Um, and then after that, I really wanna do a little video for my daily because I love my daily. My daily is a great car and um, it needs to be made better. So stay tuned, stay safe, and we will see you soon.